Potentially game of the day in League Two. Two of the sides expected to be pushing at the top end of the table by the end of the campaign. The question for Bradford, though, is has the corner been turned? Three straight wins since Mark Hughes left. Will this be the biggest test since his departure? Phil Parkinson was once the boss of Bradford in the League Two playoff final with the club. Returning and looking to repeat the story this season with Brexit. Before the start of today's game, we'll pause for a minute's silence as we remember the innocent victims of the ongoing and devastating events in Israel and Palestine. Wrexham have lost only one of their last 12 in the league. Bradford arrive in good form though, although they have some defending to do here as the away side look for a break down the right hand side. And it's Barnett who can burst. Back in the side, delivers in, good looking ball. And perhaps it should have been the opening goal. Mullin diving at the far post. Managed to meet it, but he couldn't turn it goalwards and there was no trouble in the end for Harry Lewis. But it goes, and it remains 0-0. Bradford turned away by Wrexham. Well, it's a long, hopeful ball up towards the halfway line that works out pretty well. Fletcher into the box, flash wide. Lovely build up, good connection between Mullin and Fletcher. The former Premier League striker breaking away up into the box. Could only put the effort wide at the post. Space on this left hand side. And plenty of space in the area too as Bradford break. But Jamie Walker sees the effort well blocked. All of a sudden, Bradford coming to life here in the second half. Fine challenge though by George Evans. Nicely controlled by Andy Cook. And waiting to deliver. Bobby Quinton. Back to Brad Halliday, first time delivery into the box, here's a chance. Well over the top though by Jamie Walker. More lively from Bradford. Still, despite the blockbuster nature of this game, we are waiting for the first goal. Pointing, trying to get something going here in the Reina Valley Parade. Debbie. Oh, a crossing opportunity. Well, it would have been a brilliant chance to score. They may be able to keep this alive. Conquo takes the safe route in the end and pushes around the post. Perhaps could have gathered up, maybe slightly reluctant in the rain. Lovely spin, turn and shot by Walker. And a good stop. somebody to take control in that central area and that person is Jones who sends it wide it's chipped in and it's Mullin who's there to meet the perfect delivery from Ryan Barnett and it's Wrexham who leads Bradford nil Wrexham one the game comes to life in a flash as Jones finds space on the right hand side but it was the delivery that really mattered, that really made the difference. Barney's ball right onto the head of Paul Mullin. And Mullin does not miss those. And here comes the response from Bradford. And a strike wide of target, but it takes a deflection. Osadebi looking to test the Conquo. Wins a corner. The home fans here appreciate the response. Oh, 
emergency all of a sudden. Well, this Bradford response. Late in the game, but there is still plenty of time. Good looking ball hung up into the penalty area. And a header which is directed by the target. Scrapping, fighting, pushing, trying to get themselves back into the game. Oh, what a brilliant strike. Adam Wilson levels things up here at Valley Parade with an absolute beauty of a hit. Bradford have been pushing and trying to find a way. And boy, do they do that here. Wilson off of the bench. Bundled his way through, up into the area. And it's a smart reaction to fire up into the top corner. Don't forget the free kick. He was looking to play the advantage, there was no advantage. Andy Cook is the one who has been brought down here. Cook is the target, he gets the flick on. Well, it was nearly an own goal, a mix-up in the middle on the edge of the six-yard box. And Wrexham living pretty dangerously and getting pretty lucky. There's Tyler Smith, waits for support. Makes his way up into the penalty area. This might be the moment here, Cook, and a big shout for a handball. Well, it may well have been harsh, but it certainly struck the arm of O'Connor. Tullock. And there's the ball into the box, and what's that, a shove? It's another big shout here for Bradford. This time for a penalty, but there goes the final whistle. Well, Bradford mounts a spirited fight back and grab a late point here. Adam Wilson with a fabulous equaliser. Smash the ball up into the top corner for a deserved point after Rexham had gone ahead through Paul Mullin. Entertaining affair, especially in the second half, finishes Bradford 1, Rexham 1.